Bart Denise Scott. You basically called Baker Mayfield Mike Tomlin. Because you said Baker Mayfield does less with more and Lamar Jackson does more with less. Well, doesn't Mike Tomlin do less with more every year? Every year this guy's got a Hall of Fame quarterback, a stacked roster, and he fucking loses a first round. And same as Lamar Jackson. Same as Lamar Jackson. Did we forget about Baker Mayfield's rookie year? 27 TDs, 14 interceptions. Did we forget about how he took an 0-16 team? Brought him back against the Jets. I think he went 7-7 seven and seven his rookie year. Should have been 8-7. and seven, But they didn't give him credit for that win against the Jets. I mean, did we forget about that? The team was 1-35 before he got there. 0-16. Did we forget about that rookie year? Team that's been looking for a quarterback for 20 fucking years? Did we forget about that, Bart Denise Daniel Scott? Ah! Huh? Did we forget about that? If you put Lamar Jackson in Cleveland and Baker Mayfield in Baltimore, Cleveland is drafted, drafted top five again. And Baker Mayfield's got a Super Bowl with that Ravens team already. Now you're talking about rookie year, mate. What? Antonio Callaway is even in the league anymore? He made Antonio Callaway. Brashard Perriman? He rebir uh, rebirthed his career. His career was horrible until Mayfield got a hold of him. The only guy he had was uh, Jarvis Landry, Darren Fells, Ricky Seals Jones. What? Wow. Mayfield had nobody. But he made them guys great. His rookie year, 13 games, 27 14. Think about it. He didn't have nobody. Nobody. And we got robbed of a win against the Raiders. We would have been in the playoffs without that. Think about that. We had to win. They robbed us. And we got robbed against Baltimore, too. We would have won that game. They took that touchdown off us. But yeah, Mayfield had nobody to throw to his rookie year outside of a Jarvis Daniel Landry. He fucking dominated. And then they bring the Freddie Kitchens experiment in. And that is like a plague on Mayfield's career. Because you know what? Before that year, Mayfield, everyone loved him. Everyone loved him. But that's like a plague. It's a plague you can't get rid of. Because of that second year under the fucking horrible coaching of Freddie Fredericks Daniel Kitchens. You name a quarterback in the league that could have done anything under Freddie Kitchens' offense, and I'll buy you dinner. I'll race star you. I'll buy you fucking dinner. God, he got Mayfield's plagued by his second year. The Freddie Kitchens fucking benign experiment. It's not his fault they hired a jackass. Jackass? As a fucking coach. Jesus Christ. Did we forget about last year? The guy took a team that hasn't seen the playoffs in 2007 and went into Pittsburgh without his head coach. Three offensive linemen out with one day of practice. And whooped the Steelers and looked damn good doing it, too, in his first playoff. Hey, his first playoff appearance looked like a 10-year veteran, didn't he? And his second appearance, he would have beat the fucking Chiefs if Kevin Stefanski knew how to call plays. We forgetting about that Baker Mayfield? That Baker that had Jarvis Landry? Huh? Hey, Odell was hurt. It's funny how Baker looked good. Ever since Odell went out, he just dominated like his rookie year even better. There's a reason the Giants got rid of Beckham. They knew they were drafting a quarterback. They knew his personality was too big to have a young quarterback with them, substantiate with them. They knew what they were doing. Hey, I like Beckham. But if he can't accept being a piece to the puzzle, then you got to get rid of him. This guy can't demand 12, 15 targets a game. So, yeah. And you watch Lamar. He's going to lead the league in interceptions this year. Oh, he's got some weapons now. I'm sure he does. Then corners are salivating in the league. They're going to be sitting on routes all fucking weird long. Because he ain't got the arm talent, arm strength to fucking make them throws. You know it and I know it. Hell, he threw it at tight end. Fuck. Brady made a living throwing it, Gronk. Hey, tight end's quarterback's best friend. The easiest fucking throw in the football. Right over the middle of the seam. Anyone can make that throw. That seems to be about the only throw the mark can make. Have you ever watched the guy throw a football? Can't even throw a football in his fourth fucking year. What happened to the playoff game? He can't throw. He fucking sucks. And you know when Lamar gets any completions, you know what it is. He breaks containment. It looks like he's going to run. Safeties and corners break containment off their fucking uh, receivers. And he lofts the ball. Terrible throw. They they have to make a circus catch for it. And he gets touched. That's all he does. If he ever pulls a groin or a hamstring and he's limited to just sitting in that pocket, guess what? They're done. They're done. So, yeah. Lamar Jackson, he sucks. He's just holding the Ravens back from, hey, do you realize the Ravens could be getting a quarterback for the future right now? He's holding them back. Oh, he's great in the regular season against Cincinnati and Cleveland. They're shitty ass defenses. I love the argument. Oh, he's 4-1 against Baker Mayfield. Well, he's got the Baltimore Ravens defense 
Baker has a shitty Cleveland defense. It's a lot different going against a high school defense. Baker Mayfield's not only better than Lamar Jackson, it's not even close. Lamar Jackson ain't even in the same stratosphere. And if you ask any GM in the league outside of Baltimore, maybe even Baltimore, if you had Mayfield available at the same price as Lamar Jackson, they're taking Baker all fucking day long because they want to be able to throw the win a game. NFL is about throwing, not about watching your quarterback rush for 100 yards. Hey, Lamar's great at what he does, but that's it. He can't throw a football. So, yeah, Bart, let's talk about Mayfield. Cleveland Browns were irrelevant, the laughing stock of the league, the joke of the NFL until Baker Mayfield came. Once Baker Mayfield came, players wanted to come play because they had a quarterback. And let's let's look at the facts. In the playoffs, he didn't look like a deer with his head light in, a, in the headlights like uh, Lamar did. Lamar looked terrible every playoff game. He looked decent, decent against Tennessee. Oh, and, uh, what's his name? Said he had a good second half against uh, the, the the San Diego Chargers. Yeah, they were up by 30. They were playing prevent. Same against the uh, Titans a year before, or the Patriots, whatever it was. They were playing prevent. I think it was the Titans. They are playing prevent. They had a huge lead. Lamar Jackson is the sole reason why the Ravens ain't making the Super Bowl. He cost them the game against the Buffalo Bills. You know it as I do, uh, Bart Denise uh, Scott. And the reason I'm calling you Denise is because your name's Bart. That's actually an upgrade since it's over Bart. So, Bart, I do like Bart. He is good. But he's wrong about this. You want to talk about who does less with more? Let's talk about Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin, I can go on a 10-minute diatribe about that. Mike Tomlin, Hall of Fame quarterback his whole tenure. He's basically the African-American version of Mike fucking McCarthy. Gets in the playoffs and gets beat by Tim Tebow, one-dimensional passer. One guy guy can make one throw and he gets beat by it. Gets beat by fucking uh, uh, Blake Bortles. Oh, and then Baker Mayfield beat him. So, yeah, at home, Bob. Hey, at home, granted. So, yeah, Bart, learn the game of football. You right, might be a better player than me. Maybe. I'm not even saying you are. But learn the game of football. I know more than you. And that's a fact.